Hey guys, I've got a problem here in which a 28 gram bullet is traveling at 350 meters per second. It then strikes this 4.8 kilogram block hanging from the ceiling, and then the bullet and the block combine and move on together in a swing. And what I wanna know is how high does the bullet lodged in the block, how high does this swing here? So in other words, what is this height? So whenever you have a problem in physics, in general physics, where two things are colliding, you generally want to think conservation of momentum. So that is the first aspect to this problem. And then once you're asked how high does something go before it falls back down, you want to think conservation of energy. So these are sort of the two aspects of this problem that you have to use to get the answer. So the first thing that you want to do is use the conservation of momentum to figure out how fast the bullet and the block combination are gonna be moving at the instant that they collide. So we know the bullet initially comes toward the block and lodges itself in the block, and then they continue moving on together. We need to know, in order to find how high this is gonna swing, how fast is this bullet block combination moving at the end. And in or order to find that, we use conservation of momentum. And it says initial momentum is equal to the final momentum. So in other words, the initial mass times the initial velocity equals the final mass times the final velocity. Well, we know initially all we had momentum in was this bullet, right? It was just the 28 gram bullet moving. So we know that was our initial momentum, the mass of the bullet in kilograms times the velocity of the bullet in kilograms initially. And then that's gonna equal our final mass, which was the mass of the bullet plus the mass of the block, because remember they got lodged together and then we can solve for its final velocity. In other words, how fast is the bullet and block combination moving at the end? And then when you solve for that, you get 2.03 meters per second. So much, much smaller than 350 meters per second. And that makes sense. This heavy block is gonna slow this bullet down a lot, right? So now we can use this final velocity of the combination mass to use conservation of energy to find this height. So we know when the bullet lodges in the block, it's got only motion energy, right? It's got only kinetic energy, it's all motion. But then once we get to the top of this swing here, we're no longer moving, right? All we have is potential energy, which means that essentially the only energy we have is the energy we can use by falling back down. So we know that all of our kinetic energy is gonna be converted to all potential energy at the top of the swing. And we know kinetic energy is equal to one half mv squared, and potential energy is equal to mgh, or mass times the gravitational acceleration times the height that it goes, and we'll solve for that h. So whenever something appears on both sides of an equal sign, you can always disregard it. So I'll cross out the mass here, so I really don't even have to use the mass of the bullet block combination in this uh, equation. So I'll simply set one half times the velocity squared equals gravity acceleration times the height. And now you see here why I needed this velocity. So that's why I solved for that. So I'll do one half times 2.03 squared equals 9.8 times h. And then just divide both sides by 9.8 and we'll cross this out here and we'll be left with h equals one half times 2.03 squared over 9.8 and you'll get 0.21. So you know that this block after the bullet lodges into it, is going to swing up to a final height of 0.21 meters before swinging back down. So I hope that made sense. If you have any questions or you're interested in tutoring, please contact me at facebook.com slash tutoring, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot.